Hey guys, it's Chris here from Pi Supply. In today's unboxing video, we're going to take a look at the Bright Pi kit. The Bright Pi kit is a self assembly kit designed to be used with the Raspberry Pi cameras. It's the perfect solution for a bright white LEDs and infrared LEDs for any project needs. The LEDs can be programmed using the Bright Pi software. So, for example, if you have a PIR motion sensor, you might want to activate the bright white LEDs or even the infrared LEDs for night mode. This is the perfect solution for all your project Raspberry Pi camera needs. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what components we've got inside. So everything. Okay, let's see what we've got here. So first of all, we've got a welcome card by Pi Supply. This has all the sales and product information on the reverse side, or you can visit piesupply.com for more information. We've also got some cool Pi Supply stickers. And another Pi POE sticker there as well. So let's get to the main components here. Let's move them to one side. First of all we've got the main PCB for the Bright Pi kit. So this is self-assembly so you need to solder the components to the board yourself. Full instructions can be found at piesupply.com forward slash makerzone. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bright white LEDs that go around the outside of the PCB. On the inside, we have four infrared LEDs. It's important to make sure you don't mix these up. You can identify both LEDs by the discoloration of the inside of the LED. You might be able to see on the camera here, this is a slight yellow tinge. The bright white LEDs are simply a clear diffuser. You may notice that on the LED, one leg is shorter than the other. It's important to note this to make sure you solder the correct pin to the correct solder pad on the PCB. The longer pin is known as the anode pin or the plus volt and the shorter pin is for the ground. If you view our tutorial guide, we'll be able to clearly identify which pin needs to go where. We also have some nylon screws and nuts. These are used to secure the Raspberry Pi camera to the PCB. The Raspberry Pi lens will then fit through the center hole. We also have some jumper cables here. So once you soldered on the right angle header, so this is a four pin right angle header, so once that's soldered onto the board at the bottom, you'll then place the female to female jumper wires to the pins here, and then the other pins go to the Raspberry Pi for power and communication. If you have any questions about what's in this kit or further information on how to assemble it, go to piesupply.com. Thanks for watching this video. And until next time, I'll see you then.